One of the things that can slow your website down the most are images. They're one of the slowest things to load on your website and you always want to make sure they're compressed as much as possible so they load fast on not only computers but more important uh, mobile devices. A lot of people are using mobile devices now and they often don't have a real fast internet connection. So compressing them is more important now than ever. Uh, before you upload any image, well, you want to make sure you have the right size. So you don't want a huge picture that's 2,000 pixels wide on a website that's only going to display it at 600 pixels. Uh, so it's best to optimize it to the right size. Um, this is a pre-optimized image uh, from Canva that I created. Um, this is actually a blog post image, uh, one of the header images. And it's um, the, the size of it's only 10, uh, 1,024 pixels uh, by 512 pixels. That's a pretty good size for a web page. Uh, I use all that. I use that for a lot of the header images on my blog posts. Um, but once you have the right size image, um, you want to download it, and I always download it in JPEG format because that's that already compresses it a lot. So I'll go ahead and download this image. There's one more step I like to do before I op upload it to my website because there's always more compression that you can do. So I use this website called Tiny Ping, and uh, it it's called tiny ping but you can upload a ping or a jpeg in it and that's really cool because uh, it'll compress those images from canva even further um, so here's that image you'll see it's 362 kilobytes so all you have to do is drag it up into tiny ping into this little square here and it uploads it and compresses it for you and you'll see it's cut it uh, in more than half, so it saved 59% on that. So that's huge. Uh, you know, th this file would take a really long time to load on a mobile device, whereas this file, while it would still take a long time, uh, it's significantly better uh, than the pre-compressed version. So all I have to do is download that, and now I have a, uh, the original version, 362, and then uh, this one has a 2 after it. So this one's only 149, so that's going to load a lot faster on a mobile device. And that's really important uh, for people visiting your website because, you know, people aren't that patient. They're only going to wait a few seconds for your site to load. If it doesn't, then they're going to go back and find the next website that might offer the same or similar information. Um, you know, and of course I would rename this, and then once I rename that, if I could spell it right. So that image is ready to upload into my blog post. And you'll notice the quality of it is not much different. I mean, I can't visually see with my eyes the difference between the two. So that's pretty cool. You can save that much space and still have the same quality image. Now that you've checked out an Experience video to help you expand your small business online presence, be sure to subscribe so you can watch more videos as they come out. Or you can check out the ebook that will help you grow your email list without even having a website in case you don't have one. Or you could check out another video.